First red zone opportunity for Kansas. Neal shakes one, and there it goes. Touchdown, Kansas. Well, Neal can run around you or run through you. Great job running through the arm tackle with power. Second and long. Just nowhere to go as he gets twirled down behind the line of scrimmage again. The defense has gotten a pair of three and outs to begin. Daniels on the play action. Deep down the middle. He's got a man and it's Skinner inside the 10 yard line. Radar wide receiver might not be anymore, Jay. Well, there's a misdirection in the backfield. Beautiful throw by Daniels. And then Skinner. Just ran right through the middle with his speed. Broke past the six. First down and goal inside the 10. Highshaw stretching to the edge, and it's 13 nothing early. And up front, number 50, Mike Nowitzki, the Remington Award watch. Offensive lineman, the center, just sealing off the edge, and then Highshaw with his speed gets around the corner. Miller in motion. Third and seven. Oatsball trying to squeeze through the line, and he gets taken down behind to bring up fourth down. And it's blocked. Kansas recovers. And there's a return down the sideline. Jacoby Bryant to the house. Right up the middle of the push. And then it was the effort getting the hand up to knock it down. And then Bryant does the rest. And, and they love how physical that group is. Again, they run the option. It's kept by Oates Ball. He's got the first down and he gets tripped up just outside the 10 by OJ Burroughs. Man, did they need that. Well, they've got to regroup here. The last drive didn't go their way, but now you've got an opportunity to put points on the board. Oats ball gets dragged down for a sack and Kansas's defense with a response. Sampson takes him down. And Tennessee Tech gets on the board with a 28-yard field goal. Daniels with a clean pocket, stepping up, airs it over the middle. It's Grimm again down to the 35-yard line. Savion Morrison lined up in the backfield for the first time for Kansas. He gets the football, shakes one, has the first down, and gets ripped down just outside of the five-yard line by Josh Relliford. Yeah, it, they're picked fifth in the preseason poll, and an opportunity for them, I think, to have a really good view of the week. This guy is dangerous in the return game. Kenny Logan Jr., and he gets tripped up near the 40-yard line. Been pretty good when Kansas has gotten it in the red zone today. He got the fourth down stop last drive. Now Daniels takes off, skates by one, and he scores. Designed run all the way. Daniels looks over towards the right, and then it's just time to show off. Use your athleticism. Played against Lance Leipold when he was the head coach at Buffalo a couple years back. Oates ball has nowhere, and right on cue, it's Phelps with the sack. Trailing out of bounds, but Skinner's the guy to highlight in the red zone. They like him on third down. They like him in the red zone. To the goal line, and it's caught by Fairchild for the touchdown. In play, 63-yard drive that took a minute and 29 seconds. He made it look easy. Protection up front, and the Fairchild. Going towards the pylon, catches it, immediately turns upfield to dive. Scored two touchdowns against Duke last season, so a guy who gets time for them. Neal squeezing past a couple. No, rather, Daniels kept it. And a huge run for Jalen Daniels. Five of six on third down today is Kansas. Highshaw. Oh, what a move. Spins past another. High Shaw with a phenomenal run down to the 26-yard line. 13 yards and a first down. Here's the option. Daniels tosses late, balls on the ground, and it's covered up at the 30-yard line. Just one of eight on third down. 
And their average to go on third down has been nearly 10 yards. Oats ball gets away from one and just has to quickly heave it away. The offense back out on the field with Daniels, and it's intercepted. McGowan, the freshman, pulls it in, and Tennessee Tech gets the football in Kansas territory. He fades back, number 47, just reads the eyes of Daniels and cuts in front of Terry, the true freshman. Yeah, I said they want it to be a culture of competition. I said if you don't show up and practice well one day, you could lose your job. Oats ball slides in just shy of the first down marker, it looks like, at the 30-yard line. Opening night of the season for Kansas and Tennessee Tech here in Lawrence. Oh, look at this run from Devin Neal. There goes Devin Neal. Touchdown, Kansas. Devin Neal. Offensive coordinator. Andy Kotelnik, he said he could run for mayor of Lawrence and probably win. That's how much he's liked around here. Jared Casey making two blocks. Grimm as well. Lawrence Arnold gets a little shove in. And here's the vision. Just watching the play develop up front. Earl Bostic, the left tackle, clearing out his man. And then he's gone. For most of the season, back up this year and he hands it off to high shaw finds a seam and breaks through it lowers the shoulder and gets ran out near midfield the early portion of the fourth quarter morrison with a seam dives for the end zone and he scores he follows the star center mike davitsky number 50 Dominic Cooney clearing the path and then refusing to be denied. He wanted a touchdown to cap off this drive. They've got a very solid option to be. Yeah, they thought he was even really good in camp, too. They just said Daniels did a lot to earn the job. Morrison cuts back up the middle. And Savion Morris gets dragged down near the 10-yard line by Hudson to save the touchdown. You see shiftiness, the loose hips, and then the, the decisiveness. Look at that the hole. Blocking by Grimm. And then the cutback, and then the speed takes over. But look at all the Jayhawks downfield. Yeah, once you get through this one, you can move towards next week. And Texas A&M Commerce is the next opponent. Oatesville has a lot of time, Whoa! and it's intercepted! Eric Gilliard! In the UCF program, he's known for his ability to make plays in the box. His tackling ability, he shows off his pass coverage, sifting back, turning his hips, and then the hand-eye coordination to make the play. Oatesville was one in Quint. Bean in for the score. Here in the season opener. Kansas up big. They also said there wasn't near as much of a drop off though between the first and the second unit like there was last year. Bean flushed out to the left, fires on the run and connects. Stephen McBride holds in the pass and it's the first completion of the day for the backup. That competition helps out the special teams unit. Potter played so well that aspect last year expected of him the same thing this year as well touchdown, flip to price for the touchdown and it's the first touchdown of the night for tennessee tech shit off with the touchdown oats fall little zone read and then the design play to pitch the ball out to price they schemed it up and executed well facing east carolina down in greenville so they'll be on the road in week two coming off a huge win over virginia tech Oh, Morrison lost the football. Tennessee Tech saying they got it. And they do. Clawing for the ball on the defensive side. Just rips it. How about Kansas? 56 to 10, the final. The team that went just 2 and 10 a season ago. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.